Welcome back to The Truth With Trinity, and I am your host, Trinity, and if this is your first time tuning into the podcast, I'd like to send you a warm welcome. Here I talk about issues that happen within the Black community, hopefully for some resolution or at least some food for thought to go about your daily way. So without further ado, I'd like to jump into this episode's topic, which is young men, child support, and the trap in between. I want to start off by saying that, you know, when you talk about child support, it was originally designed for divorced parents to create a lifestyle that would be similar uh, for the children as if both parents were still married. Okay. And it was also designed for, um, you know, originally irresponsible, you know, men who created children um, and they did not want to be financially responsible and forced to take at least financial responsibility uh, for any children that they had, uh, whether they were, you know, I guess, uh, desired or not, um, af- you know, off of, you know, them having sex with other women. And as we see today, it has spiraled, you know, into a different uh, whole ball game. You know, now we have uh, child support, which is exploited by a lot of races of men, not just black men. And, you know, with the flick of a um, a social security number and a barcode, uh, you know, you could be placed on child support and, um, you know, placed in jail as well. And, you know, who uh, and what more of a percentage of man is going to be placed in jail, um, you know, but black men, you know, more, more so um, because, of course, they don't want to place their men in jail um, because, you know, you know, a lot of them, you know, have problems, uh, you know, with, you know, out of wedlock children and whatnot, but definitely, um, you know, black men are definitely going to be at the top of the list to make money off of, um, you know, in the jail systems. And um, I wanted to talk about the fact that, so basically child support wasn't designed um, specifically for black men to be locked up, but, you know, black men are the highest exploited you know, for having passed due child support payments and being placed in prison. And I, and I would like to talk to the black man about how he can decrease his risk of being placed in jail uh, for child support. So I want to start with a little bit of history. Uh, when we look back at slavery, black men were judged by how uh, many women they could impregnate to produce more slaves for production. So basically, you know, the only thing the black man was really valued for, of course, is his hard labor. And also how many women, you know, that he could, you know, have um, and get pregnant to be able to produce, you know, more slaves on the plantation. And even after slavery, black men have struggled for monetary possession, often leaving them nothing to pass down to their next generation. So, of course, you know, when we're talking about back in the day, even after slavery, uh, you know, the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. Uh, You know, it was hard for a black man to get a job, especially a meaningful one, to be able to provide. So he had nothing to pass down to his, you know, next generations. And because of this, we have young black men now, okay, who ruin their lives before they fully comprehend the consequences to their actions. Because I believe that, you know, it hasn't been brought forth to the black man to understand that, you know, the children that you produce into the world is linked to your lineage and not only your lineage, but your finance, your financial, um, uh, means your, your pocketbook, basically it's, it's, it's linked to that hand in hand. And, you know, so many, I think young black men have, have had to struggle and have not had savings or inheritances. They don't really fully comprehend the fact that, you know, if you have a lot of children out here, it's going to drain your inheritance. It's going to drain your money. And with so many young black men now uh, succeeding and, you know, they're making moves and they're able to be employed, you know, I think a lot of black men are starting to see the damages um, that can be done from poor decision making and the selection of mate and also choosing not to uh, use self-control and discretion when dealing with women. Okay, so let's continue. Let us discuss the ways in which black men can reduce uh, his risk of being affected by child support. Okay. Young black men must educate themselves and gain useful, uh, useful trades and skills to prepare himself for a successful future. So basically before you, uh, as a, as a young black male, especially, you know, if you're a teenager listening, 
uh, you know, you're, you're, you're a young man, no children, you know, you have a bright future ahead of you. Okay. And, and what you need to be concentrated on is how to gain skill or a trade that's going to land you your own business and you're going to be successful in that business, or you need to go ahead and educate yourself, um, and go to college so that you can have a successful future. So that's setting you up in the right direction to be able to be successful and to be able to take care of a family. Okay. So that should be your goal as a man, um, is to at least start off with that. Um, and like I said, even if you don't want a family to be successful for yourself. Okay. Um, and then number two, if you go through a phase of leisure and casual sex, you must be careful not to get uh, casual women pregnant. Okay. So basically this is to say, basically as a man, you shouldn't leave it solely on the woman, uh, the fate of your life. Okay. So if you're um, you know, going through a phase where you're just having sex, but you don't want commitment, you need to be honest with yourself and, and set up provisions and ways so that, you know, you won't be getting women pregnant um, that you consider casual, that you don't consider spending the rest of your life with. You know, you need to put the protection on, you need to use condoms, you know, you don't need to just listen to what a woman says as far as what birth control she's on. You need to take your life into your own hands, basically. Number three, you cannot leave your destiny in the hands of a woman who says she is on birth control. So that kind of goes into what I was just saying. You know, a woman, someone, some women will say anything, okay? Especially if you're a man of substance, if you're a man that is going in a, dire um, a direction of success or um, that you're already successful, uh, we do have um, unconscious uh, sisters out there who are not aware of their value who will try to suck off your value. I mean, it's just reality is the truth. Um, you know, everyone out here um, in a perfect world would be great, but there are women that are, you know, looking, um, who are, uh, I would say, damaged themselves, um, looking to drain the life force out of some men, you know, and you have to be careful about that, you know, as a man. So you can't listen to what a woman says, I'm on, on birth control. And so that gives you the green light to have unprotected sex. It doesn't. Not only that, but there's STDs out there. Um, so you have to have enough self-control to, um, you know, basically protect yourself um, and your seeds um, and your sperm um, so that you're not, you know, getting women pregnant that you, like I said, you don't see a future with. Um, and of course, it always is a wise decision to remain abstinent. Okay. So that you don't have to worry about you know, what you're doing or, uh, you know, what that woman's doing behind your back if you're abstinent, uh, to totally eliminate pregnancy or impregnating a woman you could never love and damaging your finances, okay? So that's the number one way to do it. You know, I know that's kind of like maybe uh, an allergic, you know, reaction for a lot of men, but not all men, but that's definitely a good saying out there. You know, if you don't want to worry about a woman propping up pregnant that you don't, you know, consider um, you know, wife material, um, you know, it would be best just not to have sex, uh, period. So um, I want to continue. Uh, now let's discuss scenarios that have caused many men to feel trapped, okay? Especially trapped by, you know, child support, okay? Number one, being the guy who hates condoms or being influenced by a woman that hates condoms, okay? So that kind of goes back into the self-control that I was talking about. You know, if you are going to have sex, uh, sexual relationships, um, to, to use condoms. I mean, you know, majority of adults would agree that of course, unprotected se sex feels 20 times more greater, um, than with, uh, protection, but you have to understand the consequences behind having unprotected sex. Um, those feelings, um, that, that five minute feeling can last you, uh, 20 years, um, of regret and pain and, um, a tough situation and, um, and not being influenced by women. Okay. Women who, who want unprotected sex, because you would have to question them, you know, like, you know, what, what type of woman just wants to have unprotected sex with a man, um, that is not her husband or she is not in a serious relationship with, you know, it's time for, you know, young black men to start asking themselves these questions. Number two, friends with benefits relationships can result in false paternity. Okay. And a lot of guys have uh, complained and, you know, have had concern that 
um, they are, you know, paying child support for a child that's not his and how you can reduce that from happening is, um, first I would like to say, usually with friends with benefits, you know, as a guy, you have your options and what a lot of guys hate to, uh, come to the realization is a lot of women have options as well when they're in friends with benefits relationships. So you're sleeping with her one night, but the nights that you're not sleeping with her, she has another man that she's sleeping with. Okay. And my point is, is as a man, you need to be not in, I wouldn't say control, be controlling, but you need to be in control and, and to know who you're laying your seeds in. Okay. If, if you're having unprotected sex with a woman that you're not with every night, you don't know what she's doing. And that's not to say when you live with someone every day that they can't slip off and do something else. But if you're sleeping with a woman unprotected who uh, you don't see every day, okay, you're not living in the same house. This is not your wife. You know, there's a higher incidence, okay, because our goal is to lower the incidence. But there's a higher incidence that this woman that you don't see every day, she's sleeping with someone else. Okay. So therefore, you know, she could be pregnant with someone else. So you're over there twice a month or three times a month or maybe once a week or whatever. And that's how that happens because she's sleeping with other people. You're sleeping with other people. And so the situation just gets messed up with paternity a lot. Okay. Number three, infidelity on a man's part can get you trapped, um, you know, uh, with child support. Of course, a lot of times some wives will be forgiving. OK, and some wives won't be forgiving. And, you know, it's funny because, you know, when you see, you know, some other, you know, we're going to talk about, you know, a white guy, for example, you know, even with uh, what's his name? I forgot his name. Peterson, Scott Peterson. You know, they understand the value of, um, you know, if you, you have one family with one woman, you know, you're, you're going to pay off that woman that you're leaving, you know, and he handled it the wrong way. But this is a perfect example of a guy who realized, hey, if I get rid of this wife and this baby to go with, you know, the other woman, I'm going to have to pay for both families. And what he didn't want to do was he didn't want to um, damage his finances like that. That was very selfish and horrible of him. But my point is, as a man, you must think about your finances and how your um, the women that you have entangled yourself to, you are bound to them financially. Even if you don't want to realize that you are, you know, you thinking that you're a man dingo, that's the stereotype that black men have been taught that has been killing them um, for the last few decades, that you can just have sex with women and have kids with them and just skip off and that it's not going to affect you in any way. And the black man must realize that it definitely will affect you. Um, and your finances, and it will suck the life up out of you. And you could very well end up in jail. So to alleviate that and to decrease those risks, you need to be very careful in who you're choosing just to have sex with outside of your relationship. And you must determine if it's worth you having to financially support a family that you're no longer in anymore, which will be your ex-wife or your first child's mother. And then you're trying to create another family with another woman and how much money that's going to cost you. You must learn as a man how to, you know, put these figures um, on a on a piece of paper, okay? Um, infidelity, infidelity on a woman's part, you know, you do have a percentage of women um, that are whores, um, that are promiscuous, that uh, choose to uh, sleep outside of their relationship and have the nerve uh, to want to place a man on child support uh, so that he can support, um, you know, the children that he has and also um, the woman as she, you know, uh, commits her crimes of infidelity. So you have that percentage as well, um, where men have definitely felt, you know, trapped, um, you know, and uh, having to pay child support. Uh, my heart goes out for those men. Um, and I do believe that, you know, what comes around, what goes around does come around. Um, and those women um, have those co their consequences as, as well. Um, so I wanted to talk about also what has the black man never been taught? Okay. Number one, that having a baby on the way does not make you a man. 
but having a solid plan for your family and child does. Okay. So, you know, and I think in a, a black community a lot, you know, you'll hear a lot of guys, you know, they'll, they'll pop a cigar in their mouth and they say, Hey, I got a shorty with a baby on the way, man. And it's like, no, that's, that's not you being a man. Okay. That's just a guy who got another woman pregnant. Okay. But having a solid plan and not just a plan, but you know, means to execute that plan. OK, and making promises and keeping your promises and, and staying in there when when things get tough, you know, um, the integrity part of, of doing, you know, what you're supposed to do when you don't want to do it. Uh, those are the things and doing it for your family and your child. Those are the things that, you know, make you a man, um, at least in a woman's eyes anyway. And I think maybe perhaps God, God as well. Uh, number two, it is important that you choose one woman to be the mother of your children. OK, and so I'm going to speak outside of being a woman for a second. You know, I, of course, I don't want a man that likes to sleep around. Many women, of course, don't. But as a man, OK, um, you know, you, you sleep with someone on the side or whatever like that. Um, you know, you have um, cortisones, concubines, whatever you want to call them. Those are not the women that you get pregnant, especially if you're not rich or wealthy, because, you you know, you have to be able to pay those women off. Um, to lead to to get out of your life, you know, and if you're not one of those type of men that have that type of money, um, you need you need to be very careful, especially who's the mother of your child. OK, um, the seeds that you sow are linked to your future lineage and linked to your bank account. OK, children and women are like financial investments. OK, and a black man's never been taught that, I believe, because, you know, I, I um, because like I said once before, they've never had the bank accounts and the inheritances and the money and, you know, the properties. So they're not they're just used to being taught, hey, no matter what you do, you're already broke anyway. So you can have as many kids. They can't get any money out of you. And that's the wrong uh, mentality for the black man to have, especially if he wants to succeed um, in this world. You must realize that, you know, your, you know, when you have children by a woman, um, they are like financial investments because you're choosing to invest in a woman, not to only take care of your children, to protect your children and to protect your life by not going against you and turning you into child support. But she wouldn't even need to be on child support, you know, and no welfare, you know, if you place yourself in that position of being in the home and, and to protect your investment. Okay. You need to protect your investment and don't just sow your seeds like Johnny Appleseed. You know, you're not Johnny Appleseed. Your seeds aren't free. Okay. Like you, you just sowing your seeds everywhere. You know, it, it's going to cost you and you must start to have self-control um, as a man to be able to think about those things and bottom line. Okay. So the bottom line is do not invest in a woman you cannot see spending at least 25 plus years of your life with, okay? And number three, if a woman has a series of children by multiple men or states she only wants relationships with men with no children, steer clear, these are red flags, okay? So, you know, that's like a, a little golden nugget right there. You know, when you when you are dating a woman, you know, no matter how pretty she may be and um, things of this nature, you know, you have to really take into the account, you know, how many children she has by how many men, you know, um, and, and really uh, study the background of this woman. You really, you know, if she has, you know, five kids with one man, one kid with one man, you know, this is the time to do your investigation. This is not the time to do your investigation after you've gotten her pregnant, after you've had sexual relationships with her. The preliminary period uh, should consist of, you know, you doing your background work. You know, a lot of times they tell women that, that, you know, we must do our background work, but it's very wise for both parties, males and females, to do their background work to see who they're dealing with. OK. Um, so, and then, like I said, a woman, you know, I've even heard women say it and I, you know, I scratched my head um, when I hear a woman, especially with children. You know, it's one thing for a woman not to have kids and say that they don't want a man. You know, they don't really want to deal with a man with, you know, any children they prefer a man not to have any kids, but it's definitely a red flag to hear a woman that has kids, especially so many kids or kids, period, say that they don't want to mess with a man um, 
that uh, doesn't have any kids and she has kids, a lot of times those women, um, especially before the laws changed a few years ago, um, these type of women, they do have a Jezebel type of mentality. Um, they want to mess with a man that has no children to be able to get the highest paid child support because up until a few years ago, of course, the man, the woman that had a child by a man, uh, his, his first child. So if a guy had no children, okay, and she gets pregnant by this guy, she's going to get the higher, she's going to get the higher pay of child support. Okay. And you know, those type of women, all they're about is prostituting themselves and, and re retrospect prostituting any children that they have, you know, to become, uh, cases in the child support system and not really have any respect for herself or her children. So these are red flags, you know, for you to look out for as a man, I'll say it once again, women that have multiple children's fathers and women that especially have children already who only want to have children um, and relationships with men with no children. So let me continue. Uh, number four, playtime is playtime, but you must consider your financial future beforehand and not afterwards. OK, so like I said, you know, if you're not going to take the abstinent route, you know, you're going to, you know, have your playtime. Um, you know, you're going to, you know, have sex with women and experience out here. Um, you must consider your financial future. OK, so the condoms, you must consider those. I don't care if they don't. It doesn't feel that great. Um, it, it's not, all, you know, it's not all that good, um, whatever. But you must consider your, like I said, your fi finances and how this could destroy your life um, by, you know, getting a woman pregnant that, that you don't see a future with. It's time for not just women to think that way. OK, because you can't leave it solely in the hands of a woman. You as a man must consider your future um, yourself. OK, so number five, if you already have a family with a decent woman, you must always consider the cost. If you sleep and mate with other women and if you can afford to put her away. Number six, the young black male must know that every woman you choose to impregnate and end up leaving, you must pay to put her away because that's what you're doing, basically. You know, like I said, the black man has never been educated on these terms. Uh, these are terms of, you know, like I said, high society and, and things of that nature. But it's time for us to rise um, out of our, our condition and understand that this applies to us, too. OK, when you're, you know, as a man, when you're, you know, uh, impregnating women, even if you, you claim to have no responsibility for them or whatever, et cetera, you need at least need to have responsibility for yourself. And that's why I said in your own uh, bodily secretions. But if you do end up getting a woman pregnant and you have no, you know, um, you know, you really, you know, never thought that you were going to be with her. What you're doing is, especially when you're paying child support, you're being forced at that point to pay for her to be put away, to be put out of your sight. OK, that's what's going on, uh, whether you believe this is fair or not. Um, you, you know, I, I be truly believe that a man paying child support because of his lack of self-control is just as um, much weight as the woman who raises a child by a man who has no uh, love for him or the child. And she's raising the child on her own. So, so the two go hand in hand. And hopefully as black people, uh, both men and women, we can make better decisions instead of just bringing children into the world that are just numbers. Like I said, numbers in the system uh, for numbers in the system to create money um, off of all, all all the parties involved. And in retrospect, we live in a society in which the laws do not favor men who walk away from their families. OK, so regardless of color um, in America, we live in a society where it's, it's just not that great to walk away um, from your family, um, especially over, I would say, the last you know, 60 years, how many men have done so regardless of color and, you know, how um, the country is saying they're getting tired of paying for, um, you know, women who have children. And I think, you know, a lot of black men, they have complained about black women getting abortions, um, which is a whole nother topic. But I mean, there definitely has to be some changes made um, in our in our communities. Um, and also, and yes, because of the continuation of ignorance on black women and black men's behalf, they continue to make money and exploit our stubbornness to correct, to think 10 steps ahead, to correct and think 10 steps ahead. OK, so because we refuse as black people, we want to just say this is how it's been and we're going to do what it do. We got this. We're going to do what it do mentality. And because of our stubbornness. OK. 
because we don't want to correct. Some of us don't want to correct, okay, these issues that we have and, and to think 10 steps of the ahead of the system, okay? That's how they're continuing to exploit us. Like I said, child support itself wasn't created for the black man to be locked up. But what's happened is, is what it was originally designed for is heavily exploiting black people because of how we um, engage in dating and in our family structure, which needs to change. Okay. There will always be women who lie about their intentions and who create a situation Um who create a situation with infidelity. So there's always going to be, you know, those guys that were good men that did try, they did try to stick in there. They did try to marry the woman. This woman just turned out to be one of those. Okay. So there's always going to be that, but okay. But these methods will help drastically decrease the percentage of black men being put on child support. Okay, like I said, we, we don't live in a perfect world and there's always going to be instances where, you know, good women are left as single mothers and black men who did try to be upstanding men um, did get uh, left and played by a system that exploits, you know, uh, all sorts of men. Um, so there's there's always going to be that. But if we as black people don't use that as an excuse, though, and just say it's always going to happen to us. And realize that half of our issues can be solved by um, our own critical decisions, then we'll be better off as a people and so will our children. Okay, um, it's been a pleasure talking with you all. Um, if you'd like to get in contact with me, if you have any questions or suggestions, you can reach me at thetruthwithtrinity.com. If you felt this message, if you like this message, please don't forget to uh, share. If you're listening on YouTube, hit the like or subscribe button. You can also listen to my podcast on YouTube, Spotify, and Anchor. And always remember, if you can't tell the truth with anyone else, you can with Trinity. Till next time, take care.